And we're back for our last part of They Were Heroes. So, as our would-be heroes moved further and further through the crack, though it opened about 10 or so feet at this start, as you guys begin to move back here, it only begins to bottleneck and pinch and get closer until it's about a five foot gap worth of you guys moving. And as far as you guys have been keeping track, you've been moving for about 30 minutes now. Once it reached this pincher state. Oh, this is uh, getting quite tight. So... Uh, hopefully it doesn't close on us and uh, kill us all. Please do not say that. Hmm. Can I make like a perception check to see if there's any like markings on these walls that were going by, like just passive markings? As far as you just looked at the walls, they don't seem to be marked. They're smooth hmm. stone. Alright. Looking at the torch, is like... With the way that the flames flicker, where does it seem like the wind is coming from? Or like any there sort of... There is none. There is none. Okay, so it's just static wind. I mean, static wind. Static air. Okay. <laughs> static wind. <laughs> and if you have nothing else to say with each other? Yeah, I don't think there's anything much else to say. Also, I would assume that Sienna would be in the middle like Rust wanted her to be. Yep, with the... Uh, holding it, holding the yep. light source. Holding the torch, yes. The remainder of the 20 minutes pass as you find yourself beyond the gate of the wall and basically standing in a large pit of shifting sand having to work your feet every now and then not to sink as you look and all there is is an ex expanse that goes up into darkness beyond Sienna's actual torchlight and then looking about you find yourself in what you can only assume to be a large cave of some sorts. Hmm. So, uh, I, I, I notice uh, all of this, right? You notice everything you can notice on the map currently. Okay. Um, am I because I would be able to tell when there is an absence of light from where I am, so... Does it does it seem like uh, like this is all within light for me? Because I could tell if if it wasn't or not because I wouldn't be able to see the color. This is all colored. Okay. All right. So uh, everyone sees the skeletons over here, correct? Yeah. Okay. That's not just the rust is gonna get. Ooh, about here. And look around. Sienna's gonna move off over to here. And, uh, start... Like, making sure that the torch, like, she would, like, put down her bag, open up her bag, keeping, the, like, the torch up, and start looking through. Thing, pick, taking out, like, her interesting tome that she's had for a while, and start peering in it, looking over it, seeing if Hold there's... On. No. Seeing if there's anything in there that she might start to grasp or understand. Uh, oh. Nobu's... Oh. Nobu's just gonna move a little ahead okay. over here. Now you and move over gonna... there and you get on what seems to be um, flat stone that gets your feet out of the shifting sand. And for Rust, your search doesn't seem to yield anything negative, so you begin to breathe easy, at least within your sense of divine sense in that area. Alright, so nothing in 60 feet. Uh, Rust chats back. Those are just skeletons, they're not drags. Okay. 
She keeps like looking through her unknown history tome, trying to discern what it might say, but if it doesn't seem to be bearing any fruit. As you continue to read it, you just kind of like suck in your teeth. You had it for a long time, but it still doesn't seem to become any easier to read yet. I was just gonna strike another torch. Oh, wait, I close it, put it back my bag. <clears throat> Say again, Rust. Um, Rust is gonna strike another torch. And if you've been talking, Tommy, you're muted. As they're talking and doing these things, uh, I'm going to uh, cast Detect Magic as a ritual. I see some. Uh... Some torches, some fire over here. And uh, facing the cave itself, uh, let's see, up here. Uh, do I detect any magic within 30 feet? Don't forget to press the spell. Oh. Over here. Alright, so, as you concentrate for ten minutes, you look in that direction, and as far as you can tell, nothing seems to get on your radar in terms of anything magical, until you look at Nobu. <laughs> well, already uh, knew about that one. I'll show you in Sienna. <laughs> oh, I saw I mean, the wings. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's why. <clears throat> <laughs> well, it lasts 10 minutes, so uh, tell my page- compatriots. Uh, well, let's uh, continue. There's no reason. We already came this far. Yes, I see some, uh, I see some barrels over here. Maybe we could see if maybe it's more water. Perhaps this yes, it does not seem to be specifically ruins. If there are barrels here, they Uh Sienna, you don't believe we should let the uh bigger, tougher people go first? Oh, Is sorry, uh, my uh, um one second. Sienna, the further you seem to go in here and looking about, the more this area seems to be familiar to you. You Notice this kind of structure, and it gives you the idea of um, an archaeological dig. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yes, yeah, like this is. Sorry, my uh, my uh, antiquarian uh, uh, sense is kind of tingling right now. Seems to be more like a, the way that I see some things are structured. It seems like something of a dig, actually. What? <laughs> uh, Rusty what? is a little bit uncomfortable in the back, but no one can see that. <laughs> um, Russ pipes up and says, That said, there was torches ahead. Ah, uh, yes, um, up, uh, up around the bend over, over there. Stay careful. Be careful. Blah, blah, blah. I just gotta. Move ahead, holding a torch above the head. All right. Yes. So there are light sources there. Hmm. And as you begin to continue to move through here, the stagnant air is very apparent. As you begin to move through the shifting stands, occasionally walking on top of stone. But the more you seem to move through here, you see more skeletons around the area. You see braziers held by formless statues that have humanoid forms, but their features worn out completely by age. But the braziers seem to be burning bright with light. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, it seems like I'm going to start looking in here. I'm going to do our investigation check on what they've got going on back here. Just open them. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just I'll just go over and open a barrel. 
using my trusty crowbar. <laughs> oh, that thing that you have. Yes. <laughs> if you take it um, the crowbar and open it, you see refuge from what you can only assume what was once fruit and now is just a sludge. As the horrible stink kind of just slaps you in the face. Oh, it would be the first thing that slaps me in the face. Okay, uh, over here, what, what, what are these crates? And those, it just seems to be a bunch of, um, what's it called? Specimen cases. Like something that you would put a important find or something to keep it safe. Mm. Are they all empty? They're all empty. Mm. She would go around, start looking in here. And while you go do that, let's move with the rest of the group. Sienna is kind of just like moving with a busy bee uh, with purpose. <laughs> while you guys are kind of just standing in the <laughs> center here, a little off kilter with everything happening here. While I still have my uh, detect magic on, I'm just trying to survey the area. I'll let you know if something happens. Uh, Nobu is going to uh, look on ahead and he sees something over here. Um, he's going to start approaching what looks to be a table, at least to him. I'd like to check out this brazier. As you look towards the brazier and get close and try to look at its face, you squint, and it seems like where its eyes would be are carved. What well, looks like a bunch of scratch marks, as if someone took a knife and scratched out the eyes about a thousand times so there's just multiple multiple indentions into the stone itself uh does it seem like something used to be where the eyes were maybe the carving of where the eyes were uh i'll move out here uh speaking up nobu uh by any chance, that brazier, does it have its uh, eyes missing? Uh, does it? You would have to get closer. Um, okay. Nobu gets face to face, but far away uh, enough to have some distance between the statue and himself. As you move there, you step into something. Ew. And what is this something? You look down curiously, and it seems to be an ash pile. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Nobu is gonna... He's gonna look at his foot, and he's gonna start wiping it with a handkerchief. <laughs> and after doing Feeling so... Feeling a bit and ashy? Following what um, Echo said, you look towards the brazier, and sure enough, looking at the statue, its eyes seem to be scratched out. Uh, Nobu is gonna, uh, he's gonna step uh, around the ash pile. And he's gonna follow. Well. Us. Uh, Nobu, Nobu points out that the eyes of this statue were scratched out as well, and... Huh, yeah. same with this one over here. Uh, Sienna, did you find anything? Well, before we move to Sienna, Rust. Hmm. What's on all these tables? As you move to the tables, you see what, surprisingly enough isn't rusted materials, but you see like really old looking papers and quills and what you can only assume like important finds that these people found and were like starting to sort 
But you don't know about archaeological digs, you just know... Well... What you know. So this just seems like this was a prep. So... So then, Sienna. Yeah, Sienna would move further in for the barrels, seeing exactly what is in here, seeing barrels as they are. She would go to this one and open it up. As you try to stick your crowbar and to use and open them, you find that they're all too jammed to be easily opened by you. Mm. It's around this time you would hear the sound of um, Echo yelling around, asking you if you found anything. Uh, just some uh, barrels, uh, some rotten food over here seems to have been left to rot for quite a while. Um, I would. Russ calls out, I found a bunch of archaeological prep stuff, I think. Papers, mm. but they look old. Yes. Uh, if you if you see anything relating to some uh, company called the uh, Nest of Interests, just call me, okay? Thank you. Do I? What? You don't think you should be with us, uh, Sienna? I mean, it could be dangerous in here. I am just checking it over with you in just a second. I am sorry, this is just how I am around digs. <laughs> well, just uh, don't die on us. Again. Russ is gonna move up to this statue. Uh, regard the pile of ash. Um, I, now, see, Russ may have once, you know, being essentially an inquisitor, is this pile of ash here human sized? Like volume amount? Make an intelligence check. Roll intelligence? Yep. Okay. Do double check. No. Not bad. You assume if it was a healthy adult. You're missing probably about a quarter that you would need to be the right amount, but this is you just, like, eyeballing it. <clears throat> and I look up at the statue. It too, also, seems to have its eyes scratched out. Is uh, this a brazier as well? You got it. Bear with me, this map is laggy for me. Okay. Uh, if no one else is doing anything, I'd like to move over to it. Read it on stream. Yes, it does look like a brazier, but its fire seems to not be lit. Move over to it, check its eyes to see if they're also scratched. They are not. Hmm, that's very strange. Uh, what, uh, what is in the spots where the eyes are? Just carvings of what you assume to be just a sorrowful... Well, they're really old and kind of hard to get the features, but without its eyes scratched out, it paints the idea of just a sorrowful person looking down at their hands, which is the brazier. I'd uh, take out my tinderbox and uh, scratch it and uh, set fire where the brazier is. You attempt, but whatever kindle that is in this brazier doesn't seem to be lit or want to be lit. Mm -hmm. uh, yelling out, I don't know if anyone's within range to even hear me. Uh, does anyone have a knife or anything? I uh, have a dagger, though I not yeah, not sure how it would work. Uh, 
Oh god, oh that's the tape, I thought that was a monster token. <laughs> <laughs> I found a brazier that doesn't have its eyes uh, carved. As you I guys are kicked in to separate further and further, it becomes a lot harder to hear each other. As it, well, back. Sierra! Um, it, it's okay. I have, I have something some just order. for that. Important. I get to finally use a, a fun cantrip. Uh, here it is. I'll, I'll post it in the chat. Thermaturgy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to use the first part, which is make my voice three times as loud. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So as you guys are kind of just being calm and having the subtle echoes of... Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> so yeah, what do you say? <laughs> <clears throat> I believe uh, that's that's me asking. Does anyone have a knife or something? Tiana <laughs> just looks really. <laughs> She's looking around. Um, what? Echo, where are you? Come oh. to my voice. It is important. Oh, I get it now. Your name is called it's uh... <laughs> Okay, but looking over this crate, what 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 found the same old things I've been finding. As you open up these crates, you find skulls in all of them. Oh, do they look like ancient skulls or? They look like skulls. I take one in my hand and look at it. Its jaw falls off. Oh. Tiana, uh, can you hear me? Oh, yes, just uh, one more second. Can I make a medicine check to see how long they've been dead for? You assume they've been dead long enough that there's no flesh or anything coming out of them, just dry skulls. Okay, um, I will make a note of that. Take well, that one piece of the skull and put it in my bag in case I need it for later, and uh, we'll continue out. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I can't that. Oh, over here. Oh, okay. Uh, what did you what found? I found the main. Uh, the what? There's do there's documents everywhere. Oh, okay. Oh, this way. Seems up your alley. Up the alley. Probably. <laughs> Apparently, three times my vo <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Doesn't uh. get anyone's fucking attention. Dark uh, sand stands in uh, Sky's attention, huh? Or Sky's and Sands. Whatever. <laughs> See, the putting my voice uh, back to normal. These eyes aren't cut up. I believe if we used a knife or something and cut them up, uh, maybe the brazier will catch fire and something will happen. I tried striking fire in it normally, but it wouldn't catch. I just want to point out that that one to mu mutilate the statue. I want to mutilate a statue as in the way that all the other ones are. Mm -hmm. Don't worry if I can fix it. If it doesn't do anything, I can fix it. Don't worry. <laughs> the rust holds out a sword. Offering it to Echo. Still uh, curious what he's going to try, but... I'm not skilled with those things, I can't... Uh... Alright, fine. Rust rolls her eyes as he says this, and... Drags the sword across the eyes. I, uh... I tell her where to cross and whatnot so it would be the same as the other statues. So, 
as you begin to carve the eye, you watch after your first cut, a trickle of liquid move come down from it. Jeez. Stops. It seems to be See? red yeah. intent. See what I mean? I, I believe we're Echo, doing the right you're looking thing. at her. She just seems to stop for some reason. Oh. What's wrong? Uh, the, the statue's bleeding. Uh, I look at it. You just see the start of one scratch in it. And, uh, how long has it been since we've been in here? Uh, roll 2d4 plus 2. Seven minutes. All right. So I still got three minutes of, uh, detect magic. Is, is it anything magical? It's a 30 foot range, correct? Yes. You do sense something go off the moment she scratched a statue. I can't see anything, but I do feel there's something magical going on. And it was only when you cut into it. Tell me if something happens now, and Russ just parks the statue if I saw it. Ding, 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 ding. Just at a random spot? Yep, just at a random Start spot. Start screaming at you, Rust. <laughs> Please stop! <laughs> As you just point in a poke in a random spot, let's say you poke in the arm. Echo, you still sense magic coming from it. And Rust, you feel a poke in your arm. I'm just gonna reach up and check her eye. You feel some liquid coming down from it. Oh. Is everything alright? I mean, uh, there's definitely something magical going on. Can he, can he, like, see liquid on my hand now? As he looks over and you're holding on, er, uh, yeah, you're holding on to the torch. Yeah, you can see there is a kind of dark green like substance on Russ's hand oh um hmm well I don't think you should uh, poke at it have anymore. I taken any damage no <laughs> well I don't think uh, you should poke it anymore but let's uh I want to try one last thing uh I cast mending on the uh parts that she poked Here, I'll put it in the... So when you cast Mending... Oh, it didn't... I need you to uh, make your... Um, spell casting check, please. So, if you don't know what that means, roll Wisdom and add your proficiency. So just roll Wisdom save, essentially. For mechanic purposes. Oh, I was trying to grab the actual spell. It's okay. We know what mending does. Okay. Kind of sucks. I'm sorry. You, uh, I don't know if you saw what Alan said, but you can find and drag these spells from the comp from the little uh, information thing into your sheet. Only plus two. Don't you also have proficiency? Yeah, it'd be a plus four oh. in total. Yeah, so the that's a nineteen. Yeah. So as you try to cast mending on it, you actually feel something resisting you trying to fix it. But with your connection with the one, you seem to fight whatever is there. As the statue begins to get brought back to former glory, and what you see, you watch as. Beyond what your mending should do, pieces of rock that seem to have fallen off of the statue start to come back up to it as it creates four pronged 
legs on each side of the statue, creating a almost spider-like look to it. And the face, slightly humanoid, though very much so looking sorrowful. And you can see now that the statue's in great detail of wearing, like, what you assume to be clothing of power for a noble. As both you, Rust, and Echo see the statue of its full glory now. Oh, um, hmm. Is that or that? Uh, so, Rust, how do you feel after this? Jam, how do I feel after this? You didn't feel anything wrong with you to begin with. Uh, what? Plainly, are... I didn't feel anything wrong to begin with. Do you still have the uh, green liquid? Uh, I, I look at her. She te- checks it around her eye again. No. Looks like it's gone. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, does anyone uh, know what this thing is? Now that hmm? we have a better look at it. See, I poke her head around the corner. Uh, what the? Do, do I know what it is? It looks to be an arachnia. Uh, there's a type of people called an arachnia. I think it's battle legs. Ooh! That explain. Uh, what is interesting? Hmm. Uh. So, I don't mean to be, to alarm anyone. But I found several piles of ash in front of all of these statues that were roughly the mass of an adult humanoid. Well, uh, that is definitely not good, but do you think this may be a puzzle like the one outside? I think someone broke this puzzle but I do suggest that I go to the armor st- statues and try and repair them and you two welcome back did you find anything at the big table for the documents yes uh, yes uh, yes take me let's go back to the main documents so I'll go to the thing of documents and do like a investigation or something to see if I find anything that's related to so, as you go through all these documents and begin to read them, it seems to go over the accounts of the people here. They don't seem to be a member of your society, though. Mm-hmm. It was obviously a group of archaeologists that came here and found this dick. One stands out more than the others. And that's because, from what you're able to understand, it's approximately dated about 400 years ago. Oh, wow. So, it seems like this is... Dig is at least dated to 400 years ago. Hmm. Does it say what they were down here for? Uh, just a regular thing, I guess. What's what says in it? As you begin to read it, it states this. This is the day... This is the time that we've waited for. Seven years of digging. They said that this wasn't going to lead to anything positive. Well, I call them fools now. We found evidence that there was more than just us. More than just what we think is poultry. Those fools at the archive think they know everything. Well, I'll be happy to submit this as my own bit of knowledge that they were not privy of. As it ends there. Hmm. Do I know what the archive is? Doesn't seem to ring any bells of anything that you know of at this time and period. So, like, I can't roll a 
Yeah, can't roll anything for that. Okay, cool. Well, that just doesn't huh. even make archive. It's too broad a well, term to mean anything. Okay. Well, I'm going to pocket that letter, put it in my bag. Hmm. Where these people were apparently digging for something, apparently trying to prove something, something about something being more than what they were, something before. Just interesting, very interesting indeed. And then when so you what get are here, all these piles of ash? <laughs> I'd like to uh, try mending the statue. You would have to, every time you try to mend, you have to make that check. All right. Remember, it's your wisdom plus proficiency. <laughs> As you attempt to use mending on it, your spell seems to fade and fail. And you give off a shrug at first, but as you're looking up at the statue, you could swear that its head turned to look at you. Uh, guys? Mm hmm, yes. Well, we saw earlier there's something magical with these statues. When I yes. try to fix it, there's something that uh, won't let me, it fights back. Uh, but I swear it just looked up at me. Well, has I... the uh, statue moved from my perspective? No. See, this is what I mean. When I was cutting it, I saw blood. Oh. <sighs> you said yeah. ask it nicely? That was a joke, but give it a shot. Hmm. Well, I guess. Please, Arachnid, let me, uh, free you. Arachnia, whatever. As you seem to speak to it. <laughs> and cast Mending once more. You're able to, once again, feel that force working against you. But through your own magical prowess, force through it. And again, watch as the magic works through it, bringing back the pieces that weren't attached to it. This one, looking more feminine. As you can see, its soft eyes are curled in a way that gives you the idea of laughter. Maniacal or pleasant? Hmm. Did, the, did anything change with the fire itself? No. Hmm. It's uh, strange. The rest remembers she hasn't explored this room yet, so she's gonna walk over here. That one's filled with ancient weapons. Rust rubs her hands together gleefully. Mm. Uh, mm. Do any look uh, in a state of use? They look to be all too brittle to be anything useful. But they are a plethora of ancient weapons at your hand. I still looks, at, looks at, over them as mutters to herself in the Noxian language. In the Nox language. Ah, I know how these feel. Looking into the display, you see what only seems to be what you can make a large war hammer and then next to it what looks like a large scythe yeah. <laughs> 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 communism heavy weapon style oh my gosh uh, <laughs> nope we're gonna try to pry the display open what? <laughs> guys, we guys, we must be careful of this uh, opening over here. All right, make a strength check. What the opening? Well, Behind... I cannot hear you very well. Where are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, booming voice. <laughs> Behind us, 
Uh, over by the tables. There was a walkway. Oh, okay. Let me just look over some of these documents over here. <laughs> Start looking over these papers on this table. They seem to be a lot of notes archiving things that was going in and out of this particular dig. And you could account for approximately 372 different items. Hmm. items. Echo. Anything that's again when you out. try to mend the statue, it fights against you. And your spell uh. fails. As you start to feel a hand grip around your neck, but you don't see anything there. Okay, I may just leave these things alone. What I miss? Oak is uh, getting choked out. Echo's <laughs> getting choked out. <laughs> I, I messed up on my uh, mending. Hey. hey, Rust, what'd you find? Uh, old weapons. So, absolutely none of them look to be in uh, able use. You look like you can grab one of them and break them in, like, against your knee. Amount of fragile. Well, with enough time, I might be able to fix them. Obviously, it's not going to be immediate, but, uh, later. Perhaps. Unfortunately, none of these look to be of any use other than to sell. Something. Nobu, make a strength check. Uh, okay. Oh. Sorry, sorry, baby. I hit my kitten in the face on accident. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab one of the ancient weapons at random and put it in my bag. I use the strength check on the dumb kill kitten. Alright, so as you attempt to, you can do that, Echo. It has a weight of three. And Alright. No, I'm just going to write ancient weapon. Yeah, that's fine. As you attempt to pry this case open, it's shut tight. As you basically put all this time as they've been going around trying to open this case, and about five or so minutes later, it doesn't seem to open at all. So what are these scrolls over here at this table that I'm at? Just walks past, looks in, sees me struggling, just keeps walking. These scrolls seem to be written in a language you don't understand. Okay, quick, quick thing. Um, I advise of Runekeeper so I can rule, read all writing. Do it. So as you look at it, <laughs> at first you blink a couple of times and you can't understand it, but then you start to hear whispers in the back of your mind as you start to get a pulsating headache and nausea in your stomach. <sighs> and as you look again, they seem to be clear to you. Oh, that was unpleasant. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> She's questioning that in her mind, but doesn't think too much of it, but keeps uh, looking through them and seeing what she could find. So, reading the scroll. On the nigh of the blood sun, 72 lives claimed, 3,000 years reign. Blood will run like rivers stream until no more, not a single scream. Hmm. Uh, this is another horrible thing. <laughs> I just want to mention how polite these statues are. <laughs> Whenever I ask them. 
Hmm. And she fixed the like, statue. No, I don't want help. Oh, well, if you, if you, this if one you insist. comes back together and forms that of another arachnid, but instead of it looking sad or smiling or laughing, which which you assume, this one seems to be angry. Uh, is its eyes looking in any particular direction? Always down at the braziers. Until shenanigans happen and then they look at something else. Eh? Uh, Noble, did you find anything interesting? Uh, no. It's just a... Just a display that I've tried to open. Did you want to try again? I can assist. Uh, sure. Nobody's gonna give it a go again. Hey, now could you copy and paste the, uh, little rhyming there? In the chat? Three. Okay. Two, one. Uh, <laughs> strength with, a uh, strength check with advantage, or would that be athletics? Or would not? I'll allow athletics with advantage. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. Also, that reminds me. Um, I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> Is there any ones? Nope. No. All right. So, is that the first? There's one? been some, a couple, uh, a couple greens though. So that's Echo and Nobu, two twenties. So, effortlessly with the aid of Rust. The two of you are able to pop this case open. And inside. Oh my god. You find the two weapons that seem to be more ornate than you were expecting, but really ancient. As Echo. This one really doesn't want to be, uh... You weren't being polite. You didn't ask. <laughs> Out of your peripherals, Rust, you watch as Echo is just being lifted up into the air and holding onto his neck as Echo. You can't seem to make a peep out of your mouth while something seems to be holding onto your throat, choking you. Rust turns up an alarm. Can I uh, see this? Uh, uh, uh. You watch as Echo's face is being strained as it seems like something's choking him to death. And he's levitating off the ground about t she ten feet. She runs up to the statue and yells, Oi, that's enough! And, and she threatens it with her sword? Roll at disadvantage. Roll what at disadvantage? Intimidate. Okay. I'm threatening a shield, guy. A shield? A statue, guys. Rather well. So okay, you're big and scary. As you do so, Echo careens to the ground. Uh. Uh. Rust switches to her native tongue and says, If that try that again, I shall destroy every single bit of you. Uh, I should so leave them alone, I guess. Remains. I was just I'll trying to free them. The shot. Excuse me, I saw a pretty weapon. <laughs> ADD, anyone? <laughs> so, this was a group effort. Which one do you want? Man who is probably possessed. Well, while you guys are doing that, Sienna. Alan. Mm hmm. Alan is out dead. You come over here and you just see what looks like ancient maps that show a time, place of areas with like water and rivers everywhere. So it just seems very alien looking at this make believe map. Rivers and hmm. lakes that actually run through the continent. That doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. It's very funny. I shall take a couple. <laughs> 
I'll take two of those maps. Alright, the 